new Governor DeSanta is making a South Florida stop this morning in the Everglades. CBS 4's Deborah Souverine is live in West Miami Dade with more on the governor's visit. Deborah? Maribel, this was all about protecting and preserving the beautiful Everglades that you see behind me. Now, this is good news for anyone who is into an adventure. Python Challenge for 2022 registration for that event officially kicks off today. That's not that big, though, Francis. The, the Python, governor up though, right? close to a 10 foot Burmese python. This is an average size that people will catch, though, in the Everglades. Yes. That enormous python, the average size that will be captured during this year's Florida Python Challenge. And one of the things that we have to do is look at the toll that these invasive Burmese pythons have on the Everglades. It's just unbelievable what they will ravage. Governor Ron DeSantis, along with officials with FWC and South Florida's Water Management District, announcing the start of registration for the popular Python Challenge. Python Challenge allows the public to engage direct hands-on in Everglades restoration. You can win prizes and of course uh, you will be doing a public service. And we have remove tens of thousands of snakes out of this environment. These snakes are destroying the natural food chain. And you can't have a healthy environment without a healthy food chain. The Burmese python is an invasive species native to the jungles and grassy marshes of Southeast Asia. But here in Florida, they wreak havoc on the Everglades natural habitat which is exactly why the Python Challenge was created. We're just going to be demonstrating some of these safe capture techniques. These pythons are non-venomous, but they can strike. This is that pinning technique where I pin his head flat against the ground. Participants will be trained on how to properly handle the snakes. The governor chose to keep his distance from them today. I'm good. I mean, this is fine. <laughs> but for those who don't mind getting their hands on a python, the 10-day contest officially kicks off on August 5th. And you heard the governor say there are cash prizes with this competition. Whoever captures the most pythons, as well as whoever captures the longest python, will be eligible for those cash rewards. Now, if you're interested in registering, it all starts today. You can go over to flpythonchallenge.org. We'll have this information on our website, cbsmiami.com. We're live in West Miami-Dade. I'm Deborah Subarain, CBS4 News.